Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech. This is my second video on top 10 interesting apps and this is actually a part of a playlist or a series. So I leave that playlist in the description area. Do check it out. And if you are interested and if I missed any app, do let me know by commenting below this video. So guys, let's get started. So guys, let's get started. So the first app in our list is TSF Shell Launcher and this is what I'm currently using. So I'm just going to play a quick demonstration of how to use TSF Shell Launcher and if you are already familiar with that you can simply skip to the next app. So guys, the next app in our list is OVO, which is a simple or a very simple timer with a maximum limit of one hour. And as you can see, it's very simple to use. So you have to just simply swipe it in clockwise or anti-clockwise. It's the most simplest timer. So I use it very frequently. So this is my second app in the list. Next, the third app in the list is Tidy, which is actually a gallery app which does more than a simple gallery app does. So you can group it into multiple storylines. It has a small learning curve, but it's pretty good. Well, if you have a lot of images on your phone, then this will be a really good app to showcase them. 
now it's just analyzed my entire phone and it's given me information based on the month or the time which I've taken images. So if I select this month, it will show me all the images that I've took or all the images that are on my mobile which were taken this month or which I got in this month. So I guess you get the point. If I go to location, I can sort these images based on location. So I can even set the distance or I can even group the images based on the location. So let me set it to 500 meters. So it's basically taking time to sort it, but it really is a nice app. So anyway, and the fourth one is based on the folders itself. So anyway, let me put it to time. So guys, these are the images based on the time. And if I go over here, I can see my storyboards or albums. I can create you ones. I can do a lot of stuff over here. Just give it a try. There are too many options to explain, but they seem to have changed the theme. I don't know when they did that. So guys, anyway, just give it a try and you'll be definitely surprised by the things it can do. So the next app in our list is again, a gallery app. So this is how it looks and it's really, really fast. So you have just the basic features, but the thing that I like about this app is it gives me an option to check out the location where I've taken this picture. So if I go to show on map, okay, I don't have location based information on this. So let me select another image. I hope I have some location information in this. No. Nope. This is the time when we really want to see something happen. So there you have it. I have location information on here. So I can choose the maps and it will show me where I took that image. So I took it in my home. So anyway guys, it's a really nice gallery app. You can use this app as your primary app and use the another app tidy just to showcase your images in a nice way. So guys, the fifth app in our list is Inbox by Google. It's like an AI driven Gmail. So it scans through all your mails and it checks out what you're reading and what you're not and finds out important stuff and displays only those mails. So it's a nice email app to find some hidden emails, hidden important emails if you're just getting a lot of mail. So just give it a try. The next app is Sync Me. I use it to sync folders on my phone to my PC. So it does it on LAN so you don't need an internet connection and as it is on LAN the tra and as it is on LAN or Wi-Fi usually the transfer speed is pretty good. The next app is if it's actually an Android version of the website that is IFTTT that is if this then that. So you can basically set up triggers. So if something happens, you can say it to do something else. So for example, if something happens, you can ask it to do something else. So for example, if you take a picture from Instagram, then you can ask it to put it in Dropbox. So you have many recipes like that. You can use it to automate some tasks. So give it a try. The next app is Touchpalex, which is a gesture based keyboard with inbuilt clipboard manager. It's really pretty cool. Let me just quickly show you a demonstration. So this is your normal keyboard. This is swipe. And if I want to enter numbers, I can swipe from the numbers like this. And I'm entering numbers now. Now to delete the last word, I can simply swipe over here and it will remove it. And it has even navigation buttons. So I can navigate the cursor using these keys and select all and you do a copy or do a cut and paste. As I've said, it even has a clipboard manager which saves your last 10 clips. So pretty cool app. Do give it a try. The next app is GSAM battery monitor, which I'm using for quite some time now. So it basically logs everything about your battery. So as you can see, this green line indicates the charging time and this blue indicates the discharge time and and currently we are in the temperature tab so you can see how the temperature of the battery varied and this is the phone signal and you can basically know how your drop in phone signal is affecting your battery and my personal favorite is others where i get to see how the screen on time is affecting the battery 
as you can see I have been using this device for some time now so the display is on and while the display is on the battery is draining quickly and over here the battery drain isn't so bad and I can even see how long the Wi-Fi has been on for and when the GPS is on and when the GPS is off so it gives me some nice information like this apart from that I can also see which apps have been running in the background continuously so I need to press this option so these are the apps that are consuming a lot of battery on my device so guys this is the final app in our list and that is called a splash top so it's like a team viewer app which basically allows you to control your PC but using this app there's absolutely no lag at all once you open this app it will scan through your network to see if there is any PC running the splash top streamer and if it is there you will get the PC name over here and make sure before you connect you select this option over here and then go to advanced and change the resolution to native so that your desktop resolution won't get changed and press done now you can select this option to connect to the PC just in case it might ask you for a security code I haven't set it up to anything so let me just quickly set it up so guys let me just quickly enter the security code so guys once you enter the security code simply press ok and it will connect to the system so there we have it I just hope it's or everything is recording well I have the mouse moving over here let me just quickly play a file So there you have it guys these are my list of top 10 apps so do check out my other videos and if you have any suggestions for me do let me know by commenting below this video if you have any doubts do let me know by commenting below this video and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this